This place is so incredible. There's no one here. Since we've been out trekking, we've seen absolutely nobody. There was such a balance of both the incredible adventure that you're looking for, but also the cultural side. And that's what was so astounding about this place. It is a place where you feel freedom. They would feel it looking on terrain around and looking at shepherds, yurts, and herds, everything. On the jeep ride here yesterday, it was uh, meant to be an hour's jeep ride, but it took us about three hours because we stopped so many times because uh, the local rangers spotted uh, Marco Polo sheep. And we saw them coming up for this snowfield, climbing up onto this ridge. Boom, down to the other side, thank you. <laughs> what? I think Kyrgyzstan has all potential for adventure tourism. We have great mountains, lakes, rivers, we have glaciers. Our people are very hospitable. We have old nomadic traditions which are kept alive today. Tourists have a taste how uh, real life is going on here. The people of Kyrgyzstan are very open-minded and they have a centuries-old history of hospitality. There was a guy there who trains eagles. It's amazing how these eagles become friends of these guys. We're in the realm. We in are the in the realm of snow. We've totally been right here. Wow! That is just astounding. Mm -hmm. It's so clear that these people have such a connection to this land. They obviously have such a love of being out in these mountains of theirs. I feel very proud when our guests come here and say, wow, I am happy at that moment, I am very proud. It's that connection with the people and understanding their connection to the place that makes our world bigger. <laughs>